evaporates. Oh, Jesus. Hey guys, it's early morning and um, I'm getting ready to get in here, wash these little bit of dishes, put these dishes away, make me some coffee and just kind of relax. I just got done doing work on my computer. It's like eight something. Um, I'm up really early. I am so, I'm going to talk to y'all as I go, but I am so, let me show you what we're working with. I am such a um, person who is so into old things, old school, and it's so crazy because I had my natal chart, and I always go back to it and look at it, and it literally said that in there. I'm like, why am I so fascinated with the way they did things old school, the way like our elders and ancestors did stuff is just so I don't know I'm so intrigued by it and it's just something about using your hands and doing things a certain way that just makes me feel so amazing and I'm just like wow this is pretty cool to know that like that's a part of who I am like who I am is I like to um hold on y'all basically who I am is a person that likes and enjoys the um, working of my hands and just basically the way that things were done like it, I'm so intrigued by old school like when they used to cook and bake and, and do the homemaking tasks that stuff does something for me I don't know I can watch videos of people actually that's what I'm going to be watching <laughs> is videos of um People just doing homemaking things, doing stuff around the house and making their house a home and all that good stuff. That stuff, it, it just does something for me. It makes me feel some type of way when I see somebody enjoying doing the things that either make their house a home or make things easy for their family. That does something for me. Like it really does something for me. Like I'm up doing stuff every day and I said, you know what? I'm going to let my content mimic what I enjoy. I enjoy being a mom. I enjoy being a homemaker. I enjoy all those things. And because of that, um, I can talk to you while I do those things. My house, I don't always need to clean. But there's things that I have to do in between. Um, and as you know, I love jazz. If you've been rocking with me, I'm noticing a lot of people trying to put... Um, uh, jazz and soothing music and healing music or music that sounds peaceful and all that stuff on their content but it, it, it makes me feel amazing to see that because it is so peaceful I love jazz like I've been doing this for years if you've been rocking with me if you've been rocking with me you know that um, jazz is like a must have in my house it's a must have and I definitely have to have it. Like, it is something that makes me feel good. It's something that sets a tone in my home. And I love it. I love it, love it, love it. So, definitely, let's get this stuff up. I'll be cleaning this. Take this over here. It's going to be getting clean. So, I'm going to set that there. We're going to put this up where it needs to go. Hold on. And put this back. So, if you like homemaking, um, come on. It would do all this while you're doing the video, right? Instead of going in like it does normally. Jeez. Alright. Do you like homemaking? Let's put this away. Do you like homemaking? Do you like being a mom? Do you like doing the things that just make your house um, more comfortable, more easy to live in, and just just better in all ways? I like mine to be organized. I like things to just have their space. I just, I, I'm a stickler for all that. So we're going to wipe this off and light me a candle in here. Growing up, I stayed in the kitchen. I stayed around my granddad. I stayed in um, watching him cook and watching my stepdad cook. Like grandma, anybody was cooking, I was in the kitchen. And that's how I learned a lot of um, my cooking 
was from you know my grandfather and when I tell you it was just it was like a kid in a candy store going and watching you know the cooking and the bacon and seeing people create you know meals and stuff there go that vitamin I was wondering where that thing went <laughs> it rolled on the stove I'm surprised it didn't melt the capsule or anything like that but yeah I had to get under here because sometimes this part right here gets neglected so yeah I just literally had a love for all things home I had a love for all things home and that right there is just it did something for me when I smelt something cooking in the kitchen when I hear um you know the mixer or pans and stuff like that I would run to the kitchen I would run to the kitchen and uh I want to be right there I want to be right there I want to be right there I want to um, see learn <clears throat> get whatever I can from whatever whoever's doing whatever in that kitchen <laughs> I want to be there so that was my thing as a kid growing up and that's where my love for cooking baking and just homemaking the feels of a clean house a good smelling home I did a video on um, TikTok. I don't think I shared it yet but it was talking about how a lot of the younger generation the younger moms and stuff they don't want to stay home because they haven't really created a home it's just a place that they go and they sleep but when you create a home it is a whole different entity like it is next level with the way you feel the way you um interact and i go in depth about how these are my gratitude candles so i light them throughout the house i go in depth so i'm going to get me some coffee going but we're going to clean this stuff up first actually i'm gonna clean the pot for the coffee first because i want that to be done by the time i'm done so basically um going in depth with <clears throat> how it is so important for you to make your house a home when your house is a home you want to be there you desire to be there and <clears throat> it makes you feel good when you come from a long day of work or you know completing tasks knowing you got a safe comfortable space that you're getting ready to come to y'all I can start using this now because I have a water filtration system a full water filtration system that was installed so what I usually do let me do it the right way I'm on the camera and I forgot um so I'm gonna drink out of yeah, I'm gonna drink out of this cup so depending on how many cups I want for today and I think I'm gonna do three so I'm gonna do one I put the water in here so we're gonna do one and I always fill this one up a little bit because I know that when the water boils it evaporates Ooh, Jesus but I always leave enough water um, space so I can put my coconut cream and all the stuff that I want in my um, coffee so we got that so let's clean out the press we're going to clean out the press get this nice and clean and then we're going to proceed with cleaning the rest of this stuff up so I literally, um, ooh, feel like I understand that feeling. I've had places that didn't feel like home growing up and I didn't want to be there. And, um, I can understand when there's no discipline with children, there's no real love with a spouse or a partner, or it's always tension. I can see why some people may not want to come home or some people don't consider their house a home because they haven't created that atmosphere in that home in order for it to be that right so let's get these out of here a little vitamin see it y'all they haven't created that space to be that so because they haven't created that space to be that it's 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 not feeling like they wanted to feel and 
that causes a problem because you have men and women who don't want to be home, who don't desire to be home. They're always trying to find something to do to get out of the house because either the kids are unruly, the kids are not um, taught to, to clean up after themselves and you know, you might have one spouse that's a stickler, the other spouse is not, or the one partner that's a stickler and the other partner is not. And so that causes conflict and it definitely can be stressful on someone. And because of that, that is still a house because home is where your heart is. And a lot of times people say that and they don't get it, but that's real. That's serious. Home is where your heart is. If you don't desire to be there, if you're not totally comfortable, your heart is not there. Your heart is not there. And that's something that can be fixed. Conversations, therapy, um, creating some order, you know, start having some family meetings and making sure everybody's on the same page with parenting, with the rules with all the things that need to be applied to make that house a home and let it not be all on one person. You get what I mean? Um, a lot of times it can be that way. And sometimes when you are frustrated, it's hard to consider other people, <laughs> you know? And so in a family unit, everybody has a place. The children have a place, the husband, the wife, everybody has a place. And because of that, um, if there's no distinction of what that place looks like and what it should be for the children what time should they go to bed where should they put their clothes when they take them off when is laundry day you know when should they have their beds made like all of those things that's called running a family that's like the family unit how is it working how are we going to make this unit work so that everybody is doing their part and no one is stressed out like the mom or the homemaker I don't mind doing certain stuff I don't mind washing and folding my kids clothes that's not a thing I don't mind doing all that um those things are not who remember these trays I got these things so many years ago I think these things are about like oh I want to say nine years old from Ikea I don't even think they sell them no more if they do they're definitely not that thick quality they're like little trays you eat off of you can serve them or you can we use them to eat off of like if we're sitting in the living room eating or whatever we use them for that make sure the bottom of this so yeah everybody has a place everybody has a place and men like to feel comfort when they come home they don't want a smelly home they don't want a smelly woman an unkept woman and it's ways to be kept without being fancy and spending a lot of money just smell good keep yourself up even if you don't go do fancy pedicures, at least make sure your feet, you know, you do your feet in the in the shower. When you go get in the shower, have you a puma stone or some type of block in the shower that um allows you to just right go over your feet. Every time you in the tub, and I tell my daughters this, I'm like, you should have something in the tub that allows you to remember, hey, I gotta clean my feet. I gotta clean my feet. I mean, I got to do, you know, do a little thing on my feet. Hold on, let me throw this out. I got to do my feet. If you do it consistently, at least a couple times a week, you don't have to worry about crusty feet. You don't have to worry about your feet being crusty. And men, you know, that go for men too. No woman wants to <laughs> have no crusty feet laying beside them. Um, they don't want that. So, see my pan back? And so, we're going to oil it real quick on top of the stove this is the way i um season on top of the stove really quick cut that up high add just a drop let it get hot and then i'm going to um take my little brush and wipe it on let it sit for a little bit and then it goes in the oven where i store them because i use them basically daily but let's get over here real quick. We're gonna clean this out with, let me get my DIY power wash. If you don't know, remind me to put it below. I just made some more the other day. So I'm just gonna do this, let this sit. And then we're gonna go over there. 
and remember how I said I use different sizes so that way I'm not wasting I gotta actually cut down some of the ones because I didn't use all the the bigger I mean all the pieces I cut already if you want the video on how so I gotta cut some more cut some more down and they last <coughs> excuse me they last so much longer when I do it this way I'll show you in this video too all right this is hot so I think what I'm gonna start doing is have some chats and then some of them y'all just gonna watch me do my homemaking thing in the video and I'm not gonna talk I'm gonna just play some music so what do y'all think because that's what I think this is what I do this is my life it to some it may be boring and to some it might be interesting because you're trying to you might be a new mom a new dad and you're trying to figure out how to do things and how to get your house a certain way and all those good things so here we go I'm about to make me some coffee oh my gosh my screen is cloudy I'm sorry y'all all right let's get this screen cleared off okay so let's get some coffee in here so I don't just like to put coffee in mine and when you go in the press you will probably seen this in other videos oh I should have ground it grind it some more coffee Lord let me grind some coffee we are gonna cut this down low let that do its thing. I'm going to grind some more coffee real quick. I want to get me a stainless steel grinder. I think I'm going to put that on my registry because this one right here, it got messed up. The clothes ate all into it. Oh, it ate all into it. Them clothes ain't no joke. But what I can do, I like to put clove and cinnamon in my coffee and a little bit of um, almond extract to give it flavor but cloves is always beneficial so here are the cloves I stick those in there and then I get some cinnamon and I'm gonna put a little bit of cinnamon and that's Ceylon cinnamon it's not regular cinnamon so that's a really good cinnamon and uh, we're going to do vanilla extract today I mean not vanilla almond I love that flavor it's so good all right so let me get my coffee and we're going to grind some coffee because we need to we're almost out so I'm gonna put some coffee in here and we are going to grind it see all this oh all these old school ways I love it because not only that it says ground coffee but are you really getting fully ground coffee when you're getting the coffee already ground what's in it how do you know you know what I mean so I'll be thinking about all that stuff Let me cut this down could y'all see what, I, what I'm doing okay so I think I got this on backwards do I I think I do wait a minute why does this feel weird maybe not hold on okay let's go over here real quick this is done once it starts smoking that means it's hot hot so I usually take that set that back there for a quick minute and then it will go let's cut the fan off it will go in my um, oven in, in a little bit so we're gonna continue grinding the coffee I usually use two scoops per cup so let's see what we have in here to get rid of this too. First, one, two, three. So I'll say about four. So I'm gonna need two more scoops because I'm doing three cups of coffee. But I wanted to get what was old out first and then put the new in. I'm cut that off. Let's see, almost, almost, not quite. Almost, almost. I want to find a place if I continue drinking coffee that has bulk coffee that I can buy that's cheaper. We don't have whole foods. I hope I'm not talking too loud. All right, let's make sure we're getting this all in there. See how nice and finely grind. I still see a couple beans, but see how finely grind. I don't like it being very bright in my house. Um, unless I need it to be I like it to I like that 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 um, ambiance of just smooth quiet morning not 
too bright, not too loud or anything like that. That's just my thing. And that's how I maneuver throughout my morning um, with this like this. I don't really cut the lights on unless I'm doing a project. All right. Okay, so now I need to get my big mouth um, funnel. And that is... Right here, I got different funnels. Stainless steel. That is that one. So we're going to take that, put that here, take this off, and we're going to empty. I'm trying to get it where y'all can see it. Empty the coffee in here, and we're going to do that two times. See, it, it gets kind of stuck, so I got to go in there and. Get that off. Get all that off. Like that. Like so. Okay. I'm gonna try not to edit. Only editing I'll probably do is just basically putting um like like and share and subscribe. Other than that, I'm not gonna do much editing. Alright, so we're gonna put this back on here, open it up. And well, you know what? That's enough for now because I'm not, I haven't been drinking coffee. I've been drinking tea more. So that's enough. We're going we're gonna to go with what we got. Put this up. And I'm going to rinse this off. Rinse this off. I'm going to clean out this. Okay, so now what I'm getting ready to do is let this coffee bloom really quick. So what you do when you want your coffee to bloom, you want it to bloom for like 15 seconds. So you put just a little water. I do that. And then I leave it. Oh, I got to put two more scoops in here. Okay. So I do that and I leave it. And that's what the ground coffee looks like. Ugh. And then once I see that it's blooming, I add my water. I will have done a video on, um, and this is a clean, so I don't need to wash that again. And then I take the press, put it on and I press it down. I can hear it percolating when I do this. It's the air and all the heat and stuff. So I press it down and I let this sit for, it's going down, it's just going down slow cause all the air and the compression from the coffee and stuff. And then when I get it all the way down, at least five minutes and that is ready. So, Let's clean off this here. Take this apart. And I'm going to... Y'all be trying to get all my little goodies. <laughs> we want all that. We want all that in there. Okay. So now we can clean that. Put this back. Alright. Take this and go in there. And get all that out. And that'll be that. Yeah, I definitely want me a... um stainless steel grinder that grinded spice, spices and coffee and all that. I want a stainless steel one. I know I'm, I'm, I will get one. I'm going to be blessed with one. And then this is the thing I use to clean I mean to put the oil in that cast iron pan. Silicone. I actually got this for free with something I got for cooking. Something I got on, on, on Amazon. I can't remember what it was. Okay. I'm not using this towel for this. But I'm going to wipe up the little coffee grain stuff from here. We're going to put the coffee away. I store my coffee in the refrigerator. So we're down to this. And I've had this for over a month. So a bag of coffee lasts me a little while. Um, I want to, like I said, buy in bulk so I can just get the beans and then just kind of freeze them. No apron today, but this is normally where my apron hangs. And we're going to put that in the refrigerator. So, we're going to clean this out real quick. And I'm just going to use this little scrubber to get all around and just clean back here. Because that's the space you can't see that would be looking so nasty. So, once I'm done with this little scrubber, it's going into the trash. Instead of a whole scrubber going into the trash, I use this when I need it. And, yeah, this is going to go right into the trash. Could y'all see what I'm doing? Once I'm done, we're going into the trash. 
I rinse this side. Scrub this side. Oh, let me get over here. And that'll be that. I have my big robe on. And um, I'm not baking or anything. So that's why I don't have my apron on. Let me go around. I cannot wait till my new countertops are in. They will be in within the next week. I don't know when y'all will see this, but from the date that I'm doing this actual video, they will definitely be in. So I'm excited about that. Get rid of the sink. All this stuff will be gone. Okay, let's get the towel. Go clean this. Then we're gonna cut up some, um, some uh, what you call it. We're going to cut up I enjoy watching people do homemaking, just talking and chatting and doing homemaking in a video. Oh, do you like homemaking vids? Do you like stuff like that? I'm gonna try to get some good screenshots out of this video. Yeah, it's gonna be real good. Okay, so that's that. Let's cut up us some, some of these. All right, so I just go in. And I'm gonna do like this because we need the little teeny ones so we're gonna go like that because this stuff that just need to come off a pan or something that's really nasty like that and then we're gonna these will be a little bit bigger like that and that's what I do I'll cut them as I need but for now uh -oh, for now that's how they go right on in here and I have a this is how they come when I get them. Uh, those are my dish rags. These are my cooking rags that I put over my shoulder. And then on the other side over there, right here, <clears throat> is where I store my, my dish mats for my dishes. And then those are the towels that I dry. Let me see if I can pull this back. The towels that I dry the dishes with um, right there. I hope you're enjoying this video. This is a pretty long video. Um, yeah, so I'm getting ready to make me some coffee and I'm going to relax. So let's make a cup of coffee and then that'll be the end of this video. Talk to me in the comments if there's something you want to know about homemaking, about being in the kitchen, about just making your house a home. Because I think that I need to go with what feels good to me. And I've always loved what I do, but I really love homemaking, cooking, baking, learning to preserve protect and save your coins in the kitchen because we gotta eat that's that's non-negotiable we have to eat <laughs> um we can go a long time without eating but you gotta put some some vittles in that body so let's get some coffee made all right try and tie my robe all right so we have the coffee cup and look at my coffee cup y'all coconut milk so we're gonna pour that in there okay and then we got my cinnamon maple syrup I'm gonna pour that in there and then we're going to turn the nozzle and pour the coffee in oh look how nice and robust that is see that and that is what we have. So that's my <laughs> cup of coffee. Let's taste it, y'all. Mm-hmm. Good. So let me put these two things up and I'm going to go relax and read my book. Yeah. I'll see you guys in the comments. Later, Gators.